The captive animals of Hierakompolis were treated better than most of the ancient population. But keeping them alive was only half the battle. First, they had to be captured and brought in from the wild. This would require a fearless team of captors who traveled to the far reaches of their known world to bring back exotic creatures. So how did the prehistoric animal collectors capture these massive, dangerous animals? A clue may come from one species in the animal graveyard. We have over 60 dogs buried in the cemetery to date. So it was very interesting, in our dog barrels, we started to get these twisted bits of leather. And it became very quickly clear to us that these must be the dog's leashes. The discovery of the leather leashes suggests these dogs were domesticated. Clues that support the role domestic dogs played in ancient Egypt can be found over 2,000 miles away at the Saint-Contenaire Museum in Belgium. This ancient pot was made in Egypt over 5,000 years ago and dates to the same time as the animal burials in Hierakompolis. For archaeologist Stan Hendricks, the images suggest the art of hunting and capturing wild animals had become a finely tuned operation. We have a hunting scene on this, uh, on this spot. Uh, so there is quite a number of uh, de low desert animals, uh, such as ibex, as uh, gazelle. But the most important thing, of course, are the two dogs. These dogs um, are chasing the animals, and you should consider this as controlling the animals. Their long legs indicate that they were um, dogs aiming at making speed, and that makes a lot of sense, of course, because they were to chase the, um, the animals. But this ancient hunting scene also reveals a detail that provides an exact match to the dogs discovered at Hierakompolis. See. The dog has an actual collar. The line goes through over the neck. But there's also this very long leash. And this has most probably to do with the way in which the animals were unleashed. And the trick is to unleash these dogs all at the same time, the right moment when the dog should take, uh, should take off after the animal to, to, be, to be chased. The dogs were clearly essential to the prehistoric hunters and the evidence suggests their role continued long after death. From their placement in the cemetery, it seems that they're also there as herders of the animals. So we get a wild animal, a dog burial, wild animal, dog burial. So interspersed around the complex are dogs, especially at the four corners. So they act as essentially guard dogs. <laughs> 